the difference between the MIT online class, the uh, Berkeley University of Berkeley Business School online class, and my um, and my course, and also among each other. So at high level, the first thing that we're going to talk about is uh, the structure of these courses. The two uh, courses from the universities have the structure of the university courses. So they start at a certain time. There are deliverables every week, and you had to be you had to meet on time. So those are um, the same structure, and uh, both of them have uh, a social component to it, kind of an entertaining component where uh, they allow you to make friends basically in the class. Some people are attracted to these courses um, also because they think they're gonna make some uh, professional uh, connection. Uh, my research indicates that that is not as valuable as it seems at the beginning. It's more of a kind of a friends type of thing that, that you meet somebody. It's more social, like, like in a real class. So my class is more like do it on your own time. And uh, I have chosen that um, that approach because I know a lot of people do not have enough time and then uh, they get scared by this uh, uh, timing issue. Some other people like it because it keeps them on track but um, I think in the large uh, numbers and I have also taken a lot of courses. I'm a person that has taken a lot of online courses. I've invested more than $10,000 especially on the marketing side and I've invested more than $400,000 on the artificial intelligence side. But at least, I would say, 10 to $15,000 on the marketing side and $400,000 on the, on the AI, uh, where it's not like courses, it's more like you know doing stuff, like really hiring engineers and other scientists and so on. Um, my course, so it's more on take it yourself, but right now, uh, my course is going in a different direction. So I'm more interested in personalization, so meaning, if you have a specific use case, I want to address it. I want to see how we can find a way to address your specific use case. So at this point, what I'm doing is I select, if somebody has interesting use cases, I select them and then I address them in one single class. Over the time, what we will do with the personalization, I've seen it working uh, in other uh, online classes that I personally like a lot, is like every two weeks there is the uh, use case analysis where the students say, a couple of students, uh, they come up with an in-depth problem, like they, they fill up, you know, they have to record the video, they fill up a formula with a lot of questions. This is really like something demanding, like I spend the time to fill it up and then I address this a couple of hours every, every two weeks. I like that model more. Um, it's not available right now, what I do right now is, uh, is more like if somebody has a very good use case, I produce um, a couple of hours, one hour or a couple of hours of classes when they really have something that, you know, it's really important for everybody to, uh, to learn. Then the other direction where I might go in the future, but of course it's not possible at the price point where I am right now today, it would be the, the, uh, the direction of uh, learning by doing and, and then an uh, internship basically in Silicon Valley. Kind of a remote internship, you do a 20 hours or 40 hours project. That requires a price point higher than what it is today because you know it's a lot of organization, a lot of things, people that needs to be hired and so on. But that's kind of more my vision. Uh, we're not doing those things today. But that's my vision. So now let's look at the MIT course. I have interviewed 3,000 people that have taken this course and there are at least 30 people that have taken that course that are in my school right now. So I know quite a bit about, uh, about it. I would say this, that um, if you look at the type of people that take those courses, a good 45 to 50% are people that are in the realm of sales. You know, there are lots of definitions there, lots of positions, but it's, it's their realm. Uh, a good 10 to 15 percent are people that are in this strategy consulting, you know, people like McKinsey, those type of thing. Um, and uh, then we have a 3 to 5 percent product management. It's not very, in my opinion, it's not very indicated for product management as a course. Um, and then um, 3 to 5 percent are engineers, kind of, uh, kind of entrepreneurs. And then 20 percent you'd really find lots of things, like everything, like people that are in academia, people that are... Um, you know that they're marketing uh, people that are uh, doing all course of all sorts of things. Okay, what they tell me that is good about this course. Usually, what I get is a social experience is uh, pretty uh, valued. Uh, the brand name, like the fact that people can get this uh, brand. I think personally, the brand name is more a personal achievement thing 
then it is a job thing. I don't think that if you get a course online from MIT of this price point, uh, you know, it changes your career. But I think that people feel that, I mean, they have achieved a degree from MIT and they, it's like a more like buying a Ferrari, you know, when you buy a Ferrari and you say, oh, wow, I made it, I'm a big entrepreneur, or I buy Gucci, I, and, and I, I think it's more like that. And so, and then the other thing that uh, people like about it is, uh, uh, is also the fact that it's timing, you know, the timing, uh, because some people, uh, you know, some people that are working, they, they cannot keep scheduling and they give up, they have a family and these type of things, you know. Um, the one thing I always hear about it is a lot of material can be found on the internet. Now, I have less knowledge about, but, but let me tell you what I think. $3,000, $3,200, I think it's a little bit too much for what, for what is given. Um, the, the other one here is the Berkeley course. This I had to tell you a couple of things. First of all, when it came out, it was $3,200 too. Now they have lowered the price to $2,100. To me, this is a little bit more interesting. I know it's a little bit less, but what I think um, this one has is, because it's California, probably has a more visibility into, well, I'm saying that we need like a business, a technical and more tactical kind of skills that these courses should teach. Um, this is a little bit more, it's more focused around strategy. So it's one single thing, and I think that's good. Um, you, you know, if you had to invest $2,100, I think I would, I'd rather like focus on one single thing rather than doing, um, you know, uh, too many things like the, the, the MIT one, it seems to me more like an entertaining type of thing, you know. The other thing that I see here, uh, it's really this part on uh, what I would call the KPIs. I think this is a good thing that they have. You find it in my course too, it's very sophisticated in my course. Um, I define the KPIs at multiple levels of organization because it really a lot of the value in, in artificial intelligence is how you can connect the crazy mad scientist that has his own KPIs, so K performance indicators, KPIs, K performance indicators with uh, the big business objectives. And there are lots of things in between, like there is an entire chapter dedicated to that in my course. And I think the fact that they have it, it indicates in my opinion that this one is, is good. I'm a little biased towards California Silicon Valley. So this one sounds a little bit more of Silicon Valley. I still have a perception that it's a little bit high level. So now let's come to my course. It is more kind of filling the gap between somebody who is really on the technology, the data scientist, and somebody who is really, really, really high level uh, strategy. I do address a lot of topics that I have to do, like what do I build? How do I make money? How does a company go in a certain direction rather than another one? But I tend to start, start to that and then going into how do I implement that uh, from a product, from a process. So now let me tell you, process means um, a lot of things. So most companies do not produce product. Like most of the application of uh, artificial intelligence is not, you know, creating an, an intelligent mouse. It's not that. Most of the applications of artificial intelligence is finding a better way to ship, for example, products within, uh, to ship uh, goods within the same company or to improve uh, uh, the way that documents move in the same company and so on. That's where the vast majority of uh, artificial intelligence applications are. That's the processes and I talk about this thing. So I think the easiest way, I, I was thinking of various ways, the easiest way is giving you uh, some cases I think the people that uh, get attracted to my course and, and the, really the cases that we have are product manager or people are aspiring like engineers that want to do product managers, they want to go into really more like an AI product, they want to go into high product management, that pays a little bit more. Then we have engineers that either they're not educated in AI or uh, they are doing some jobs and kind of function, it's a little bit more on the management side. And so they like my course too. That, that is the type of profile that we get. Then we get the tech entrepreneur uh, quite a bit. Um, somebody that is trying to, um, you know, improve their company. And, and really wants to think through how can I improve my company? How can I get the mindset to improve my company? So that's other type of person. Then we have, uh, uh, we have that type of person that is somebody that wants to learn. Okay, so the... The person wants to learn that doesn't have much time, so like they, 
they, they can invest you know 40 hours 50 hours they don't want to have under timing that's the reason why I don't do it under timing because I know that the, there are people like this as well I have a lot of testimonials on my website I want to remind them uh, really briefly um, uh, really briefly so for example CD was a normal product manager she has an engineering background she was well, was a normal product manager does not have an MBA and it, she took my course then she did an interview and, and got a job as uh, AI product manager at Walmart Labs um, uh, Pietro is, uh, is one of the people that's taken the M uh, MIT course first and uh, basically it didn't help him too much like it was too high level for him and he was trying to uh, basically get three million dollars for an investment in his company and what he wanted to do it was an uh, um, automated industrial um, uh, process and basically it, in my course I don't solve this problem I don't create his industrial process but I teach him how he can think about creating it and I teach him basically when he does the proposal to get the three million dollars what are the important things like what are the cost factors that then really they go impact and if you like in this I see a little bit of overlap with the um, with the uh, Berkeley course that's, that's that's why I like more of the Berkeley course over over the MIT and then we have you know we have a lot more cases I had to conclude this year because otherwise too too long but my point is my course is more for doers okay it's not just you know I sit there and I get an experience an entertaining experience this is for people that you know within a short amount of time once get started and then they're planning to um, you know over the time to get bigger on it like again you know uh, make a career if they're working for somebody else or um, you know they're doing uh, for example Mark is another guy that um, he has a small engineering company and he is doing, you know, for other companies, just developing software. And you want to go in artificial intelligence. Of course, he took the technical courses. But, you know, when you go with the customer, you have to, them, you have to picture them, like I'm doing with you, a vision. So what are you going to be tomorrow? And you have to build a business solution. So he got it for these reasons, also for the reasons that he needs to plan what is that, you know, the hand-to-hand -hand solutions, uh, like hiring people, what type of people, uh, what it costs me, what projects I had to put together, uh, how do I think about you know uh, measuring then the results of what I'm doing because if I'm dealing with the customer I have to deliver some results and how do I'm gonna, how am I going to communicate to them so that's for example that's Mark and then there is a, uh, you know there is a, a girl Ingrid that was a program manager e-commerce and she was planning to basically present a big project in, in, in e-commerce for, for a company but then she ended up using this to invest in, in companies here in Silicon Valley and um, there, there are other many other examples uh, of people that have taken the MIT class and then they took this because it's more intense uh, on the conceptual level on the practical level um, so I hope this uh, kind of cover will give you uh, an overview if I had to tell you something like if you really want to spend three thousand two hundred dollars okay if I, I mean, being honest, like then you know, get mine and the Berkeley one. I think together you get all of the two because you get more, um, you know, you get more uh, tactical, more uh, practical, more in depth on mine, and this more like you know, business school high level strategy from Berkeley with the with the big name from from Berkeley. But I, I mean, that's my feeling. But I don't want to bias you too much I mean it's it's in the end it's up to you what you're looking for I think the information I gave to you is um, uh, you know it's information is based on my research you spend a lot of time looking at these things and trying to see how it works and I think and I hope this is uh, helpful and it can contribute uh, you getting to um, uh, to final resolutions on on this thank you very much uh, hope to see you in my course okay thank you bye